I am back with another swim talk video and I want to talk about the beautiful blue tiger. For sure the blue tiger is one of the most beloved freshwater types of the Caridina genus that are kept in the tanks and that is for sure for many reasons. I will start with some common facts and a little bit later I will talk some more specific breeder stuff too. If you like it, I would like you will like or subscribe my channel or put any questions as comments that all will help to share some shrimp knowledge. As long as I am in the shrimp hobby, people love blue tigers. You see they have a beautiful blue colored body well, the pigments are inside the shrimps and produce this blue color despite the stripes on the outside of the shell were produced by other kind of pigments. The typical pattern of the shrimps are some stripes that remains to stripes of a tiger and in every case with this genus three stripes are bowed to the back and two stripes bowed to the front with some or more smaller spots somewhere at the head or at the belly Together with the orange eyes of this type, all points give the unmistakable appearance of this beautiful shrimp type. By the way, it isn't true that orange eyed shrimps are blind. That is a rumor that was spread really hard, but based on false information. Recently some scientists proved the perception of light works a little bit different, but they are not blind. Those blue tigers with orange eyes can't be found in the nature. They were breed over a long period of time from, from wild type tigers. Some wild types with normal eyes have bluish but don't have these orange eyes. When exactly the orange eyes popped up can't be fidgeted out anymore. It's just sure the wild ancients don't have them. They have normal eyes. And uh, like this picture, a wild type tiger looks like. Those transparent tiger shrimps called blonde tigers. And once the orange eyes popped up on the tanks, same time some shrimps of those colonies shows up the bluish tint on the inner body and smart breeders started to select those bluish first from light sky blue to mid blue until dark blue and they were able to stable large colonies with amazing colors of blue with this kind of tiger. To me, at least those blue tigers deserve 
their own club finally not just they are a really nice weed more also due to the fact they play such a key role in almost all further modern weeds their ability to recombinate pigments within their body is absolutely amazing they also have something in in the genes that are similar with the older pattern too so let's have a closer look to the outer pattern and maybe we get a little bit deeper understanding of the colors and how they work Many, many years ago, this kind of shrimp got the trading name of a black tiger, but this name doesn't fit really with the facts, because the stripes of a tiger is barely uh, too black. Too black is this one, but this is not a wild type, it's a crossbreed. Mostly the color range of wild type blue tigers swings from a dark brown over purple and sometimes to a bright red. Some tigers have a rusty appearance. Rusty is a third kind of pigment that is on the very outside of a shrimp and that may support the feature to appear reddish. A lot of breeders like to do their own crossbreeding projects or just projects with shrimps or select them as they want, but you have to know especially when starting crossbreeding you have to know some facts about the color system first that really is a basic for much more and so here I share some basics about the pigment type number two that is about the stripes the dark brown appearance of the stripes is a result by overlapping the three basic colors yellow, red and blue. Remember we are still talking about wild type tigers that haven't been crossed with any other kind of shrimps. This is an orange specimen that have pretty purplish stripes and this is full in the range of the wild type in fact wild type blue tigers seldom have any yellow pigments in the stripes displayed the range of color expression is a mix of the displayed colors of the triangle. If we go from here, of course we can start selection and choose the colors we like most. Already some breeders did so and so we got very nice trains of red tigers. These red tigers are pure Caridina Maria and were created by select their stripe colors out of a blue tiger strain. For sure this is a process that takes many years to pick out those with more red and less blue. But that's the way to go to get the red tigers. 
often there is an error in the thinking of some breeders who confuse this fact with the color that will displayed by a crystal red shrimp. The red color of those have a completely different nature. This pure expression of red with this kind of bee shrimps is a result because it is an albino. It means the blue basic color is completely away within the shrimps. It blue doesn't exist. While doing this crossbreeding hype in the last years, of course it was possible to do a crossover with this albino trait to the tiger appearance. The albino red is a recessive trait and brought into the shrimp breeding just and only by the crystal red shrimps. If you ever find a red tiger that have an recessive red, then you know it's a hybrid. The pure variants don't have this albino trait. I think it's just good to know that. Okay, I'm at the end of my shrimp talk. I hope you like it and don't forget to share and comment if you like. I imagine I could do some more shrimp talks when I would get some feedback for motivation. The next time maybe I will talk about some further tiger shrimp related freshwater shrimps that are really interesting too.